Hi guys, it's Benny from T-Rex Space Station. So, Atari have been out of the hardware and console market for over 20 years, since the days of the Jaguar. And so it's really exciting to see that there's a new Atari home console in development, and it's called the Atari Box. And the uh, the designs and the blueprints for how the console is going to look have just been released. And uh, I'm really excited about this. You know, I think this has been inspired very much by the success of the NES Classic Mini system that sold incredibly well and made Nintendo an awful lot of money and it's a, that was a system that kind of played on that nostalgia factor and I think the nostalgia for the Atari 2600 is really really strong as well you know myself and many others would uh, say that that was their first console possibly the first console that got them into video games or that inspired them or that kind of started that craze of trying to recreate arcade style video games in the living room and you know, the NES was quite a hard system to collect for these days, it's quite expensive, and these old systems are pretty difficult to get to run very nicely on modern TVs. And I've had so much trouble getting my um, original Atari 2600 to run on a, on a new TV, it, it's very finicky, and it can be quite hard to collect for. So this kind of thing is, is very popular, and there's a big market for it, and it's so exciting to see that Atari are bringing out a system. You know, those games back from the Atari 2600 days are still popular. You know, you've got the flashbacks collections on the uh, PS4 and stuff. The appetite is definitely there for it. Um, I actually haven't bought the classic um, flashback collections because uh, they're missing a lot of games that I really like, like uh, River Raid and Galaxian and stuff, but maybe they'll bring those out soon. Now, if you look at the designs that have been released, these look really, really swish. And I think they've taken a leaf out of Nintendo's book here and gone for quite compact, impressive looking units. And the thing that I really like is that there's an addition with that beautiful wood varnish finish that our um, old woody six switcher Atari 2600 has had. And I think that's amazing. It's a real dot of the cap to the old uh, 2600s. Now, there are some very interesting features here. You've got four USB ports, presumably so you can play maybe four player games. Who knows? You've got a SD card slot and it's going to output HDMI so you can plug it into your LCD TVs and run it all in beautiful, smooth HD quality. Now, the cool thing about this uh, that I've sort of read about and that I've heard about from my brother is that this isn't just going to play old Atari games. It's not just going to emulate those old games, but it's actually going to have new games. I know that... Um, kind of emails have been sent out to game developers um, soon they're going to be told the specifications and maybe get dev kits going and there's going to be a push to develop new stuff for this system and I think that's really exciting I'm, I'm kind of looking for this to be a platform to kind of maybe see Atari getting a stake back in the video game market and maybe being able to compete with Nintendo and Microsoft and Sony um, it'll be really interesting to see if uh, developers are maybe going to try and make old school style video games that might fit in with that kind of 2600 era style of gameplay um, but new games for us to play here on the system that would be fantastic I'd also love to see um, a recreation of the original 2600 joystick because that's uh, one of my favorite joysticks it had a great feeling to it and it was so simple with the just the one button that kind of remains to be seen but all I can say is that I'm really excited um, I'll show you some footage here of how the vi different systems look and I think you'll agree that they look really really lovely, really sleek, very professional and I for one will be looking forward to getting one of these. Now of course supply and demand and pricing is a big issue and one of the problems that I have with the NES Classic Mini was that too few were released, lots of poachers got them and the prices went up. I think it remains to be seen how much these are going to sell for, how many are going to be made but Anyway, if you're anything like me, nostalgic for this system, this is super exciting and I can't wait to hear more about the Atari Box system. Take care guys, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.